Howdy once again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher. Now, taking a look here at my shelf where I kept my models, both homemade and commercially made uh, collection of these little steam engine models, you will notice that it is diminishing in number, although maybe I haven't shown this before, I'm not sure. I have sold off a bunch of these. I have way, way too many, and I've been going through them yet one more time, and as I do, I had pulled out all of the so-called electric engines that I made. So you won't see them here. They'll be over at the bench, and I do plan on disposing of them, selling them on eBay. Now, if you're looking at this video uh, past June of 2017, don't look for them on eBay. This video may be around for many years, but these uh, <laughs> models will have been long gone. But and some of these are going to come up for sale as well because I just have to reduce the, the number of things I have. My children, my boys have zero interest in, uh, in this stuff. So out it goes. See you at the bench. All right, here they are. Five electric motors, electric engines I call them. Actually, I suppose they're motors because they're electric, but yet since I have given them the appearance of an engine, a little steam engine, I'm calling them electric engines, but these three motors have appeared in videos, but a long, long time ago, a long time ago, here are the titles of those videos, should you want to look at them, and that's the number of views, so they did get a fair number of views, but those go back to about 2009. I think I'll run these real briefly for you, just to show you, but these are the ones I really want to talk about today because these have been covered. I have been in love with scientific apparatus for many years, ever since I was a student in physics and science and so on, and the teachers would have these, most of them made by Welsh Scientific. So because of that, uh, I've, I have an eye for this kind of thing. And, you've seen this in other videos, by the way, so I'm not going to talk about this, but there were many electric toys produced around the turn of the century, or early in the part of the, of the 20th century. And uh, those are collectible, highly collectible. I don't think there's many of them around, because they probably cost too much at the time, but some of my ideas came from those toys, just pictures of them. Now these are all based on magnetism. Well, all electric motors are magnetic, aren't they? So most some of these solenoids some just really magnets so let me run these real quickly for you and these are all going to be sold here on eBay in in June of 2017 because uh, they take up too much room but all of these were built on my aluminum bases that I used for steam engines so you're going to see some of my steam engines built on these same bases these I cast in my home shop and these were made in 2009, I think all of them, about that era. So they're already eight years old. I haven't looked at them or touched them. They're all dusty. So I'm going to give them one last run before I sell them. All of these run on uh, DC battery power. And I was originally running them on the carcass here of my Makita drill. And I just hated these Makita drills. They had no power, and they <laughs> these, these held a charge for about uh, 90 minutes. But this is totally dead now. I had leads coming out of here with alligator clips, and that's what I was running them off of, basically 10 volts. But some of these will run off of a power supply. This is a, I believe it's Radio Shack, which is now defunct, 12 volt. But it, this will run some of them. And then the uh, breaker will kick, so it's, it's fairly capable in terms of the capacity of this, whatever it is in watts, tells on the back. I'm not going to go into that, but I think I'll run a couple of them off of this, but basically today I'm going to run them off of my tractor battery, off of the <laughs> Cub Cadet. I have run them also off of this DeWalt, but this is 18 volts, and I don't want to burn anything out here just in case so alright let me hook this these three up to the Micronta 
and we'll see which ones run on that. By the way, this is 110. This one's 110 volt. Plugs right into the wall. All of these have my little lead flywheels and run great, really. They're fun. You know what? I take back what I said. I'm going to show all of these. It's been so long since these videos appeared. And since it's my last chance to play with this, I think I'll do it before the camera. So off of the 12 volt here. And now this one is, uh, is they are not solenoids. These are simply electromagnets that are attracting this plate here. And those little brass dealies there are nothing more than guides. And there's a cam and a little switch. That's a part of a graphite brush on there. So it's just a make and break. Now remember, electric motors like this are not self-starting. The same as steam engines aren't. There's, there's no starting current. Yeah, that would help. Now this will probably run a little bit faster off the 12 volt battery. A lot of sparking here. Now someone told me on all of these, some of the micro switches didn't last long. They said the problem is you need capacitors. Well now I got a whole box of capacitors but I have no urge to hook them up. I got every size in there you can think of. Matter of fact there's 90 in there and those are given by uh, Ed Young, I think I showed those. So, pretty awesome. Alright, enough for that one. Now this one is also made in 2009. And that's also a magnet. It is not a solenoid. Electromagnet. Tiny little micro switch here with a cam. This will barely run on them with the Micronta. Barely run. And that's going to stop. So let, let me hook up the storage battery. Okay, now we got a 12 volt tractor battery. She's really booking now. It's a little micro switch. Open and closed by a cam. I wound all of these coil, these magnet coils on the lathe using magnet wire, of course. What else would you use? On to number three. This one also requires the storage battery little junction box underneath I guess. You know you forget over the years what how you <laughs> how you make something like this. So this is a two cylinder. Oh oh that's right these aren't cylinders. This is a two magnet. This is a two solenoid. Well my grandkids just came you can hear them upstairs. All heck will break loose now. Two switches, these aren't micro switches. Just a little make and break switches. 
then it can be adjusted. There's two different cams. This alligator clip is corroded from being on acid batteries. That's a noisy little bugger. Again, these are solenoids here, not, not just magnets. Well, solenoids are magnets. And I'm not going to go into what a solenoid is. I think most of you know. There's thousands and thousands of uses for solenoids, and there'd be solenoids in every car, every uh, household, doorbell, just all kinds of uses for them. I can feel the coils warming up a little bit as I hold it. Again, those are lead flywheels, which give it uh, a lot of momentum. Let me hold that up closer here. I wonder if anybody's watching this. Can you see my cam? And those are timed, as you can see. A solenoid is a magnet with an iron rod in there, and when it's energized, it pulls the rod in. All right, the three that I just shown you, again, we're here if you want any more info on them. And now we'll go on to what I was really going to show you, which were these two before I get rid of them. Here comes my grandson, eating cantaloupe. Say hello. Hey. Isn't that cantaloupe? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. This particular one is 110 volt. And this is a commercially made solenoid. I don't know where I got it, but it was just in a pile of junk, and I just incorporated it into this little engine, also made in 09. I must have really been on a kick back then. That must be the, the name of the solenoid company. Again, a micro switch with a cam. Boy, can I smell that cantaloupe. Makes my throat itch just smelling it. You know, I get criticized for everything, and I, I like to wrap my cords with solder. And, you know, just people get so sidetracked. They won't talk about the actual project. They want to talk of, they want to criticize something. They know it gets my goat. Probably gives me about 20 thumbs down just talking about that. All right, I'm plugging this in, and of course it doesn't get energized until... Oh, wrong way, Corrigan. Now, I would say that none of these are rated for continuous use. They'll all warm up. Maybe burn out even, I do not know. I never ran them that long. No batteries required. How do you like these, Jordan? They're awesome. These are all being sold, so this is your last view of them. Quite a bit of momentum. 110 volt. This was an easy one to make because I just incorporated a solenoid. I'm doing this to encourage you and to inspire you in your own workshop, and if you're a young boy, even better, to make things like this that are just fun to do. These can be made with wood bases and, uh, and much cruder than this. And in fact, I was inspired by the auto teacher, one of my traveling buddies, had uh, a little one that was made by somebody with a commercial solenoid like that, mounted on a wood base. It just was made with nails. It was crude as heck. 
But I love that thing. And then the next thing you know, he threw he threw it out. He was a great way, one to throw things in the trash. Because I would like to have had that, and it's gone. All right, now to number five, the final one. You see, there is no finer way to wrap up cords in all Christendom than solder. Don't use acid core, though, because it's a mess. So just solid wire or, or rosin core. And you might say, well, that's wasteful. No, it's not. I have 100 rolls of solder, maybe more. All right, I'm back to this. Off my tangent. Back to this 12 volter. Let's see when I made this. Also, too, I must have been quite prolific that year. I even uh, gave some ohm measurements there, and wire gauge was 24. Who cares? Who could possibly care in all of Christendom? Commercially uh, made micro switch, genuine micro switch, made in Freeport, my wife's hometown, Freeport, Illinois. I think that micro switch plant is still there, Honeywell, Honeywell. All right, run it, you're thinking, run it. You know, I got arrows on every one of these, too. So it goes in that direction. This is a solenoid. Not a straight magnet. Well, a solenoid, again, is a magnet. But you can see this is a plastic fitting. Genova. Look at that little micro switch. Take it back. I don't think that's a genuine micro switch. Yeah. Should stop right now. and change that alligator clip. I think I can, I think I can. So much for number five. All right, here's the grand finale. You know, I used to take on a lot of projects when I was in my prime. I really slowed down now, but I was always in the shop. All right, I hope you liked my little dog and pony show on my five electric engines. I live in the past. Hope you like this. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now, and I'll see you in my next video.